Welcome back, everyone. I can't tell you how excited I am about doing this interview. So much discussion today about our youth being buried in cell phones and all these other things. And we got uh, wind of an organization called Skills USA. It's a student-run organization that really helps students follow their dream, begin to follow their dream, get the skills necessary to pursue a career, to pursue a dream. So we have two great examples, and we're going to get to know them. I have Joyce Wilcox. Welcome, Joyce. Thanks. You're quite welcome. <laughs> and I got Emily Ellsworth. <laughs> Hi, Em. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. Fine. Thank you. Uh, I have a feeling that the fact that you're wearing matching red jackets might have something to do with Skills USA. Indeed. You think so? Yep. <laughs> All right. Uh, you know what? I'm going to start with you, Em. What is Skills USA? Skills USA is a student-run organization. Um, you get to work on your choice of career, whether it's welding, early childhood, or graphics, and you get to focus on your set career path, and you're guided by your advisors, teachers, mentors, and friends. Right. Um, a, a little more structure on that would be, say you're a junior in high mm -hmm. school. You go to your student counselor and you say, geez, I'm really interested in graphic design and early childhood education. But, I, you know, the school only has one or two courses on it. And all of a sudden, there's this program out there that that advisor can put that student in touch with to help them further the education in that particular category. What a terrific leg up that is. Um, in your case, Em, you're interested in early childhood education. Yep. Why? Um, I've always loved children. Um, I've helped raise my two young um, cousins and mm. I now have a new niece um, who's two, almost two months old and I'm excited to take part in her life and I just have a connection with kids. Right now the organization Skills USA has a relationship with BOCES and of course we have a big BOCES center right here in the North Country right in Hudson Falls and that's where the courses are and if you want to talk about commitment at their age this is five days a week two and a half hours a day right? Yes. Joyce, so tell us a bit about that. So you go to BOCES every day. Yes. Right. I'll go to my home school for the morning half, and then I'll break and go to BOCES for the second half of the day. Right. And your love is graphic design. Yes. Well, something tells me a couple of people here can relate to that. The, uh, so you've taken some courses in what you're calling your home school, which is yes. the school you attend. And then in the afternoon, you're going to get additional courses in graphic design. Yes. What are you learning? A lot. We've You're done right. magazine covers to portfolios to comic books to a little bit of everything. Good. Everything that involves graphic design. So that could also be a poster or anything. Mm -hmm. Video graphic opens to shows. Hint, hint. <laughs> and and uh, uh, now, uh, I think something else is important to mention here. You have these pursuits that you love, that you want to make a career out of. However, it was very interesting to me, Emily, that you're going to study about childhood education mm -hmm. because your dream is to open up your own daycare center. Yes. But to be well-rounded, it isn't just about knowing some of the fundamentals about early childhood education. There's math involved, there's oh, yeah. reading involved, and how does that play in? Um, well, for math, um, we practice financial things like um, how we would set up buying items for preschool and how we would fund all those. For English, we practice reading child's book because you um, always have to keep a child's attention and, mm -hmm. you know, bring your voice into it. Don't talk in one voice, you know, use your voice for different characters. Your, you know, your voice is an instrument. Yes, it is. Absolutely right. Well said, by the way. <laughs> Thank you. Um, and you can, you're both seniors, yes. correct? Yes. So this education uh, advantage is that all of a sudden you have a nice leg up knowing more about the career that you want to pursue so that when you go into college, boy, that's a wonderful transition, right? A wonderful aid and transition. Now, you mentioned you might be going to SUNY Adirondack? Yes. Correct. And mm -hmm. I think you mentioned a SUNY school as well. SUNY Cobleskill. SUNY Cobleskill. Wow. Nice. Both great schools, right? Um, in terms of what you're learning, okay, there are very specific things related mm -hmm. to graphic design. What other things are you learning? Um, well, in my BOCES class, we also do the math and English like Emily, based directly on graphic design. Right, sure. So the other skills that they're learning to help round out the education have to do with the specifics of the career that you want yes. to pursue. 
Uh, I think I think this is absolutely amazing, and you're both an inspiration. I got to tell you, it, it's really wonderful to talk to you. The uh, the organization is Skills USA. It's a national organization, big presence right here in our community, a student-run organization. And if you have a child out there that you think might qualify for this, be interested in it. There are no financial requirements. BOCES handles a lot of the of the the uh, financial. Uh, commitments on something like this, best way to approach it, at least from what you were telling me, was go to your counselor, have your child go to the counselor, they'll put you in touch with BOCES, BOCES can give you the application, and before you know it, your child could be, if they have that love, at this wonderful young age of wanting to pursue a career, Skills USA is the bridge. That's, that's probably the best way to say it. Good? Oh, yeah. Okay, terrific. <laughs> well, best of luck to all of you. I know you're going to open up your own daycare center, <laughs> and I know you're going to be involved in graphic design. They both feel so passionate about it. It's great to see it at this young age. Thank you very much for coming in. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay. To see this interview again, you can head to our website, looktvonline.com. <laughs>